Hey guys, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Where we last left off, we had just finished the Ladies of the Wood quest line, and I had to make a really tough decision. I'm really excited to see if my decision affects the storyline at all, and if so, what's going to change. If you haven't watched last episode, you might want to go back and do that because it's a fun one and you can see what decision I did make. Today I would like to take a little bit of a break I think from the main quest and do either a side quest or a witcher contract. I guess we'll see once I get into the game what I feel like doing and I'm really excited to dive into the side quests because I know a lot of you really really talk highly of all the side quests in this game. So Without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay guys, so, um, well, first of all, if you guys haven't noticed, I moved my camera yet again. Um, I keep inadvertently placing my camera in front of important information. Um, so hopefully this will be the last time that I have to do that. Um, but anyway. So we're still here. We had just finished the Ladies of the Wood quest. And what I want to do today is do either a secondary quest or a Witcher contract. So what I'm thinking... So we have a, a few different quests that we could do today. Um, we have another side quest with Kira, which... I think I might hold off on that since we pretty much just met with Kira not too long ago. Um, and then we also have either the Fall of House of Reardon or Wild at Heart, which I am level six right now. I'm, I'm like so close to level seven, so we could technically do this one. Um, so let me just read through them first. Um, while muddling around the west shaded village of Blackborough, Geralt happened across a notice. It stated a hunter named Leland was looking for any help he could get in finding his wife, who had disappeared in the nearby woods a few days earlier. Geralt, already deep in a search and rescue vein, decided to help find the woman. Um, and then the fall of the house of Reardon. Continuing, continuing his tour of rural Velen, Geralt stopped by the village of Lindenvale. There he came across a grief-stricken old woman. The cause of her woe, she was homeless, a monster having made its nest in her family manor, and forced her into a rental situation elsewhere that had recently proven unaffordable. When Geralt approached her, she asked him to rid her manor of this beast. In return, she gave him a precious token, the key to the chest in which she claimed to keep her life savings. Geralt couldn't refuse to help an elderly person in need, especially not one so eager to reward him handsomely for it and so decided to do as she asked. I do remember reading this one before. Um, so I might do that, because that might not be too long, and then we can maybe get a couple side quests in. And then the Woodland Beast contract. Um, talk to the commander of the guard post by the bridge to Novigrad. Monsters, like men, each have their own individual tastes and preferences. According to legend, dragons like to savor the delicate notes of virgins, while ghouls delight in the powerful flavors of rotting flesh. In the woods outside Novigrad, meanwhile, a beast had cropped up with a predilection for Redanian transport wagons. Not surprisingly, the captain of the nearby guard post did not appreciate this culinary choice and put out a bounty on the monster's head. Okay, so I think I'm leaning towards this one. So I think we'll probably do that first. So I also wanted to move some stuff around because I didn't realize that I thought this was my F key, but this is the F key. They don't really make that very clear. And maybe it wasn't a tutorial and I just misunderstood or didn't see it. Um, so <laughs> the entire time I thought I was using this Griffin decoction, I was not. Um, oh well. You know, it's still a learning experience. Every single time I play, I, I like figure something new out that I was doing wrong. So, um, okay. I think we're good for now. Okay. 
Where is... I'm gonna go to this. Okay. And then we... We'll just fast travel there because it's so much easier. And quicker. Oh. Oh, and I just climbed over it. It's fine. that about what's become of me in me elder years refused a roof over me head by a common churl i was born a noble's daughter my brother and i we managed the manor for years what happened to him a caller came one day a drifter a hunter it wasn't long before we fell in love and wed we prepared to leave the manor. My brother, he took offence, refused to bid me farewell. Years on I returned, but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. Monsters in your house, I can kill them. I could take care of those monsters for you. Hmm. You're a witcher, right? No ordinary man would be so eager. It's true. Don't fret. It's all the same to me, provided you're honest. The house is east of here. Take this key. Once you've driven off the beasts, look for a chest. My treasure, savings really, they're yours. Nice. What'll that leave you with? A roof over my head is all I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I could never let you go without honest pay. Gods keep you. Thank you. Oh, right back to bawling her eyes out. <laughs> okay, how far is this house? Oh, it's far. <laughs> okay, well. Are we good here? What time is it? It is. Oh, it's 12 a.m. I'm surprised that she's even standing outside right now. Um, okay. So let's, uh, sorry, just keep opening up the thing here. Let's go to the morning. Let's go like 6 a.m. <laughs> the thought of him just meditating in front of her and crying is so funny. All right, let's go. Let's get Roach. Is it a hog to a hog? Now here it is, son. I'll shovel reef. Roach. Hey, where's Roach? Oh. Just spawning out of thin air. Okay, let's go. I have no idea what this monster is going to be. I hope it's something I've already fought. <laughs> so I have it in the bestiary. I'm really excited to do some side questing today. Um, everybody's been talking it up in my comments about how I need to do the side quests, which you guys doubt. You guys doubted me. I thought I would never do one, but <laughs> I just, you know, I'm a main quest go, kind go. of gal. I can't help it. I always do the side quests though, because I know that, especially with Secret Project Red, that their side quests are like top notch and just as good as main quests, so. I'm just not really like a big fan of like fetch quest type. What the hell is that? Is that a person? Oh. Oh. No. Nope. Not a person. That thing is creepy looking. And way too high of a level for me. I look like a weird reindeer. Whoa there, Roach. How you like that silver? Oh, it's a wraith. Okay, cool. 
Oh, we're... No, I wasn't ready. We need this. This whole time I was never using that Griffin decoction. That makes me so angry. <laughs> oh, I, didn't I don't think I trapped it. So if I use the decoction, oh, that means that I lose it. Damn. Okay. So unless if I have a bunch of them, I probably shouldn't just be using them whenever and wherever, huh? Oh, let's, uh... Where is it? Take that. Thank you. Is there going to be something else I can uh, fight before this decoction runs out? Oh. I heard something else. Wait, where is that coming from? Oh no! <gasps> Why is that here? Did that just like follow me here? <laughs> you doing anything? Oh. <laughs> okay, I need to know why that lesson is here. <laughs> why did you follow me? It's bad enough that I have to fight all these wraiths. What's this? Can I do anything with this? I'm gonna put this loot over here. Okay. Can go up here? Yep. Okay. Like, is this. Is okay. Out there. Nothing can happen to Roach, right? I feel like I do every single time I play. I'm like, please tell me nothing bad can happen to my horse. So is Roach a boy or a girl? I don't even know. Um, please tell me that thing is gone. in here. Around here. 
So when does this decoction like run out? Ever? I wonder. stuff's damaged again. <laughs> I really need to go, uh... Go get that sorted. So everyone can stop pointing it out to me. <laughs> secret anything in here, I wonder? Like, is there anything else we can do Look like this? twins. Old woman's brother. Must be. During my many travels, I have seen countless extraordinary places. The primeval wilds of Brokelon, with trees so high their tips disappear in the clouds. Dwarven chambers carved into the guts of the Mahakam Mountains, with walls plated in pure gold. The ice palace of Pond Fanis, adorned with strained, stained frost windows. Yet none of these made such an impression on me as did the rightly famed Zeracania. Yet while I was traversing the fiery mountains, I feared disappointment awaited me on the other side. I had heard many a fantastic tale about Zeracania, about its trackless sands, burnt white by the sun, its golden-scaled dragons weaving their nests amidst the dunes, its hunchbacked horses able to survive weeks without even a swallow of water. Yet none seemed to me at all plausible. I was sure all these sensations were, but the figments of some bard's overactive imagination. I know this will be hard for you to believe, dear reader, as it once was for me, but all of the unbelievable tales are true. Not only that, during my many months of travel, I came across wonders far surpassing those any prior travelogues mentioned. I saw temples dedicated to the worship of dragons. I heard their voice, almost human, but rever reverberating with a thousand echoes. I met warrior maids clad in leopard skins, tattooed from head to foot, and giving no ground to witchers in mastery of the blade. Interesting. I saw mages who channeled power from fire. I saw seemingly harmless flies whose solitary bite would make a man fall into a deep slumber, never to awake save to die. In, sh in, sort, in, <laughs> in short, Zeracania is a land where the fantastic is normal and the impossible occurs daily. And this was the book that I paid for accidentally. <laughs> um, Tristania, Tristiana and Isidore. Tristiana did not care a whit for her stepmother's ad admonitions. Admonitions? She would toss off her ragged foot wrappings and walk barefoot instead. She would wear Kaviri lace and batik knickers under her rough hair shirt. And when dusk fell and the other novices dutifully went to offer their evening prayers, she would slip off quietly and run down to the bay, where Isidore awaited her. This merry devil was thick as a barn and had hooves instead of feet, but Tristiana liked him all the same, more than anyone else in the world. 
For him, she broke off her betrothal and defied her family's will. Ooh, this is spicy. Um, she knew that if their bond was ever discovered, both she and Isdor would be burned at the stake. And so, in the dark hours of night, she planned their escape. Does that... Is that another quest? It doesn't say. Or was it this? No. I don't know. That's okay. There's just books in here? Wait, what's this? A journal. Oh. Little wear and tear. Dolores's diary? Someone's journal. What does she have to say? The third of Fane? The third of Fane. Hot summer days have come earlier than usual this year. Humbert has grown unbearable. He gets angry whenever I accompany the milkmaids to the river. He says I'm not to fraternize with the help. But what makes him truly furious is when I converse with Jan and Fred. He claims a well-born lady should not mix with men of lower rank. That doing so undermines his rightfully or undermines his rightful authority over them. Perhaps once the summer swelter begins to fade, he'll become more tolerable. The 20th of Fane. The boredom weighs heavier and heavier upon me. I love my brother and I'm glad we did not sell the estate after our parents died, but at times I daydream of what it would be like to live somewhere else with other people. Where's this going? The 43rd of Fane. We have a guest. He's the son of a lord from somewhere near Gore's Velen. A hunt took him across our land and he asked for lodging. Oh, what a joy. Finally, something is happening. The 15th of Lamas. The time has come to admit it. I love Roderick and I feel he loves me too. I hope Humbert will be pleased. Oh no. This isn't good. I told Humbert about Roderick and me. He flew into a rage. He said that match was out of the question. Perhaps I can convince him otherwise. Uh-oh. 21st of Lamas. Lamas. Humbert remains impla implicable. Oh my gosh, I never know how to say this word. Implacable? But I shan't abandon the love of my life for him. If I'm left with no other choice, I will run away with Roderick. Okay, interesting. Where? I'm trying to remember exactly what it was that she told us. It actually happened. So sensing maybe she like lied about something. What? Why is there- oh, okay. <laughs> There's nothing there. Um... I think I checked everything, right? Um, okay, wait. Did I find, like, a chest that she mentioned? I thought there was a chest somewhere. I'm not sure if I... Um, so is the key not to that? Let's see, it's around here. Oh. Where's that? Ooh. Hey, I'm glad I didn't leave. Oh. No one's been here in a long time. Let me save real quickly. Just in case, I don't know what I'm gonna find down here. What's the, uh... No, it doesn't tell me. Oh. Lesser Glyph of Ard. What do these do? 
placing an empty socket on a piece of equipment to improve its traits. Ew. Let's put something in maybe in my boots. Let's also, um, let's just fix this for now until I can get something better or up upgrade or something. Alright, what do I use more of? Let's do, let's do that. Might as well. This, this does 60 to 74. Hmm. It does less, but it has a little uh, rune or whatever these are called. Yeah, rune stones. Okay, back to this. Oh. New crossbow. Oh, I need to be level 10. Not that I even really used a crossbow. I'm not really a fan of it, to be honest. But it's there, just in case. Um, okay, here we go. I get this? I need to do this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Can I get farther away? Girl. How do I get that? like under it's like underneath right. let's get all this before we do anything with this wall I was not expecting like a secret passageway Nothing, I feel like nothing is as it seems in this game. Ever. Um, okay. So I think that was everything except for this. Which is actually gonna make me very mad. Can I, like, do this maybe? No, that, like, never does anything. Let me, let me get it. Let me get it. Oh, there we go. Oh, it was just old bear hide. <laughs> okay. Strange. Wall looks like it was put up later than the others. There we go. Skeleton in the closet. Happens in the best families. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that her brother? A man. In his 30s, 40s, maybe. I bet you she killed her brother so that she could be with that guy. A couple of pages missing. Torn out. Hm. The pages missing from the journal? And thus I die in darkness of hunger and thirst. Gods have mercy. Two scraps of paper. And so the time has come for me to die of starvation in the dark alone in my own manner while my servants bring in a fresh harvest just beyond these walls. My cries are in vain. No sound escapes from the stony grave, from the tomb that fiend Rod Roderick sealed me in. Yeah, Roderick was the guy who sh Dolores like fell in love with. Um, yet that is not the worst wrong he has done me. He stole my Dolores, and so I curse him. A thousand curses I call upon Roderick of course fell in. Not for taking my life, but for taking from me the one who gave my life meaning. If anyone ever finds my remains in this letter, please seek out my sister, Dolores Reardon, and tell her the truth. Oh, he killed him and she didn't know, or did she know? I'm not sure. Um, 
tell her the truth, that I was killed by the man who seduced her, the man she left me for, the scoundrel Roderick of Gorsvelin. He struck me from behind, dragged me here, and then walled me in while I lay unconscious. He did not even have the courage to slit my throat. Yet, despite it all, I hope he brings her happiness. If so, I will rest in peace. But if he fails her, my ghost will haunt him to the end of his miserable life, and he will die as I have, alone and forgotten. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, anything else I can uh, examine? I don't think so. to be safe. Okay. I think that was it. Oh, drama. I wonder what she knows. And like, what happened to this Roderick? I'd like to go... Oh wait, so that was... I still don't know if I found the chest that she was talking about. Is there something else in here that I missed? What's this? Crystallized essence. if I found this chest. in here. Um, what about the next one over? I don't think that was in here. Oh, is this the, uh, what is this? Here we go. Sturdy barn key. wonder what door this opens. Oh, this whole area is just full of stuff. Does it open this over here? Is it this? Yep, it does. Somebody lived here once. in here? Was that it? Oh, what's this? Dolores. What? Hmm, something here. The chest. Oh, okay. There we go. Yay, level seven. Okay. There's the chest. Dolores. Oh, oops. Yay. Um... Nothing. Okay, now. Now we can go back. I want to go this way because I feel like that other thing is like here somewhere. And I don't. Roach, can you just come here? Come here. Why are you all the way up there? 
Come here. Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, cool. And we have the fast travel. Alright. Let's go back. Um, I know I leveled up and I can um, get another have another point that I can use. Um, I'm gonna wait, I think. Oh, I guess I could have just fast travel. I should have just did that. It's okay. It wasn't too far. Move it. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> am I in the town? What is this? No, this is like a whole other town over here. It's, uh, is there anything I can go into? Oh! <laughs> Hello, pigs. <laughs> so random. <laughs> Those are the pigs. Hello. Why are you in this house by yourself? Hello. Hi. Okay, goodbye. Like, where are all the people? Oh. Any secret passageways? No. That. Oh, bandits. Yeah, let's see what this is. No, not your go Mate's just about ready. The bandits got him, submission. took me your goader. Help! Go not to this away, that away to toward them. That's my arm Quite here. the banquet. Where'd you get all the meat? Found porkers wambling all about. So we roasted one of them. What a bite. Plenty to go round. Why does... Why do I look like that? <laughs> Is that from the decoction? Why does he look like that? <laughs> Want a bite? Plenty to go around. <laughs> um, no. I'll pass, thanks. <laughs> Your loss. Caius! Cuss off another hunk! No, I won't stand for it. They done roasted your goader, the Wazax. <laughs> uh, him again. You want another bannikin? What's this about? They slaughtered your goader. Cooked her up. Wazax. Same old song. Nothing doing. Gotta wallop him. Caius, Jacob, grab him. Nay, shan't be. Help! Oh, okay. He hasn't harmed you. Leave him alone. We go all chummy like, offer you roast hog, and you do this. Oh, oh God, no go. grockle's gonna give us orders. Clobber him, lads. Like, he's being so nice, too. Okay. 
first of all. Let's do this. The guy's going, yay, in the background. Relax, buddy. Oh, was that big his friend? I'm so sad. You hurt? Uh, uh, me, but you gold her. Oh, zones, they done cooked her. You must have really loved that pig. Who are you? I'm Geralt of Rivia. Me? I'm Yontek of... of, of of these parts. <laughs> yeah, this is my question too. Live in this village alone? Nay. They's home. Flap and Hegel and Bebon. Only Klaus and Igor are gone missing. Who are Klaus and Igor? Igor's the fool that eat grass. Klaus, he's the elder man. Every man knows Klaus. But where's they now? I dunno. Took by the piggy magic, must be. What? The pigs are magic? They sure is. See for yourself. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I'll take a look at the pigs. Gerd, lush. Um, okay. I'll go back and look at the pigs. Sure. So I'm guessing the green all around the edges is from the decoction, and that's probably why Geralt was looking like a hot mess for a second there. Where are those pigs again? Are they in here? Ordinary pig by the looks of it, but my medallion's going wild. Yontek's right, they're enchanted. Enchanted with what? During his travels through Velen, Geralt survived many a bizarre adventure, but few more memorable than that which I will now recount. Or who would have thought a routine stop in a village strangely, strangely empty, save have a few bandits arguing with the local dunce, would end in such a curious fashion. The Witcher surely didn't, though he did have his suspicions. After he dealt with the bandits and talked to the fool, Yantik, he set about visiting the village's huts and the pigs who dwelt in them. Yes, that's right. Pigs. Girl quickly realized they were not merely farm animals running amok while their masters was masters were away. After all, in this time, Velen was gripped by famine, and people had long ago eaten all domestic animals. The pigs were, in fact, the cursed inhabitants of the village themselves. Oh, yikes! With Yontek's help, Girl started to investigate this curious matter. What the heck? What happened to them? Um, <laughs> where'd he go? I need to talk to him. Hello, sir? Oh, there he is. Come here. Yontek? Hi. The pigs. They do seem to be magic. Aye. Cause, uh, cause of the, cause of the sorcery, it done turned them all that way. So those pigs, they used to be humans. Aye. What did you think? <laughs> Help them, turn them back. What changed the people into pigs? Twere magic. I done gave yeah. Igor the key. He gathered them all. Off they went. What key is this? Listen, here. Opens the hog hut, that does. <laughs> There's like nothing behind those eyes. 
Uh... Where'd you get the key? <laughs> I found it. Showed it to Eagle, right? And he told all the folks to go. Then they was changed. Okay. Need to take a closer look at the uh, hog hut. Where is it? Why, it's that way past the hill. You walk and walk, and then you're there. Got it? I'll find it. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to do this really quickly. Okay. Oh, it's back. It's that way. That's fine. Okay. Come here, Roach. Let's go. Literally rains every two seconds in this game. What are those? Slower. Well, that's cool. We don't got time for this. Just want to find this hot hut. with this and then figure out what's over here. Oh they're bandits. Should be good for now. We really, really need to do.
feel like there's gonna be something scary in here. It's after all. Oh shit, what are these things? Okay, let's save. Medallion's vibrating. Pig must be from the village, too. Wait, that sounded like... You understand me? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> yep. Alright, let's try this. One oink for yes, two for no. Got it? <laughs> Don't know how long you've been here, but you gotta be hungry. Got something tasty for you. Oh my god. The Guess sound it was effect. tasty. Alright. Let's talk. <laughs> Yontek mentioned that only the herbalist and the alderman were missing from the village. Makes you one of them. <laughs> You, Klaus, the village alderman? You're the local herbalist? Heard about you. Igor? Nice to meet you. I'm Geralt. <laughs> Geralt is so amused right now. He's just like... I'm talking to a pig. <laughs> know this place? We in a temple? Wait here, I should look around. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye. Grass stains on the shirt, and an herb sack underneath. Must be that herbalist Igor's. Yeah, it's right there. statue. Is there anything like in this water? Oh. There is. side.
Tracker's trousers. Yeah, that's cool. I know what those are like. Okay. To the pig. I'm back. <laughs> oh. See you later. Talk to the pig for another pig. At least a few people were here. Dragged something out. Oh wait, out. there's something over there. What's that? I even know there's that. Let's talk. Mm. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, there was gold here. Already. Know what happened to it? <laughs> hmm. Gotta talk to Yontek about this. Think I know what happened. We're in a temple, and there was a tub full of gold here. Yontek found the key, showed it to the villagers, and they got greedy. Thing is, no one realized the gold might be protected by a curse. <laughs> to lift it, we gotta bring back the gold. I should ask Yontek, maybe he knows where it is. <laughs> hmm? The whole transformation seems like a mean joke. Or else badly cast by someone who tried to do it with their feet. Kind of a funny curse, to be honest. So that means that pig they cooked was a person. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Oh. Sorry, buddy. That sucks. Damn. Oh, I'm glad I I'm glad I didn't eat it. <gasps> oh. Another pig get eaten, I swear. Aww. Yontek? This poor guy. Aye. Finally know what happened to the locals. They fell victim to a curse. <laughs> no comment? <laughs> oh, so... Can you uncurse them? Yes, but I'll need your help. Oh. But, all right. 
You weren't transformed like the other villagers. Gotta say, I'm curious why. Well, cause I didn't go with them. You didn't take any gold from the temple? Uh, nay. Why would I? Touché. <laughs> Some gold was stolen. That's what caused the curse. Know where the gold is? I done hid it. Oh. Well, you gotta return it. And all the villagers need to be there when you do. Oh. What? <laughs> get the gold, and I'll get the pigs together. Meet by the mill, and we'll all go to the hog hut. It ought to work. Well, he's going to save them. I'll get the gold. Gotta herd the pigs there somehow. Axie, maybe? <laughs> okay. This is funny. Alright. Let's gather them. Get moving. Towards the mill, piggies. Wait for me there. <laughs> go, go. Come on. Taking your good old time. Okay. The others. Hello. Oh, let me uh just a platter. It's fine. Okay. This way, Mr. Pig. Seven. Um, where are the other ones? Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Okay. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, look, look at all the deer. Okay, right, where's oh the other ones over here? Another place I can loot. He's all here, except for Igor. Igor's waiting for us. Oh, right. Remember, once we're there, put the gold back where it was. You get the pigs. I'll do the carrying and dropping off. Let's go. 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 Move. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> this is so funny. Come on, get over there. Look at him. I'm scared. Something's gonna try and eat them. Hope nobody dies. <laughs> Come on, piggies. I swear. It, it has a 9 out of 9, which means there's a chance that that could dwindle. <laughs> oh, yep. We 
Beasties, they are hurting them. Beasties, Oh my god, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Why can I not <laughs> like these things? They don't have the right stuff. Messed up there. Um. All right, maybe we won't use this. I feel like this isn't working. What else can I use? Um, what's stamina? Increases attack. Okay, let's try this then. For 30 seconds. Also, I feel like I need to put, I swear Gourmet only works with, that's 80, 80, let's put that, okay, yeah, then we'll put, uh, or not, you know what, we'll put that there, so it's more of it. Okay, cool. It's off! <laughs> Wait! Myself again. Thank ye. It's too early for joy. We need a head count of human heads. For almost all of us. Thank ye, White One. Thank Yontek. He helped me a lot. But it were Yontek brought us the key. He must have known the goat was cursed. Yes, yeah, sure. He didn't want to go with us. But I didn't. Twas Igor. Igor wanted. Won't get out of this dung breath. Get him. No. Help me. No, we're not gonna let them hurt him. First one to raise a hand against Yontek loses it. Now, now, we was just freaks likely to get us. Sure. Let's go from here quick. Assholes. Who? Thanks. Probably shouldn't go back to the village. Could end badly for you. 
Need to find another place for yourself. Oh, right. Whatever that means. <laughs> Godspeed now. Okay. Have a lot of faith in Yantic to find a new place. Um, poor guy. Okay, so let's finish up this other quest really quickly. This one. Um, let's uh. Let's meditate. I have to figure out what this button is. Sunset. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Like, it's coming through the trees. Okay. Let's go. Alright. Is she in here sleeping? No, she's awake. Though. So, Having all kinds of technical difficulties. My um, my light stopped working. Excuse me, everyone's making so many noises. So my light stopped working, and my mic was muted. So I, <laughs> um, I actually already finished this quest line, but I started it, the ending over for you guys. That guy was just spinning in circles back there. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I figured I would just show this ending again for you guys since it just, You've like, just nothing what's recorded properly. It's safe now. Got some hard news, too, though. Found your brother's corpse bricked up in a wall. And this. So, Roderick... My husband! He killed him! Gods! Sorry. The truth can be cruel, but... Uh, one can't turn back time. And perchance did you find my chest? With my treasures? Yeah, pretty generous as rewards go. You've earned every last bit. Time I was on my way. Gods guide you. Okay. Okay, so what I was saying before my before all my technical difficulties, um I I for some reason just don't believe that that woman had no idea that her husband killed her brother. I feel like she her reaction was just so like unenthusiastic, like, "Oh no, oh well, my husband killed my brother." Well, I guess we got to move on. Like, what? <laughs> you'd think she'd be, like, way more upset. Um, so that's why I think maybe she knew. You guys have to let me know what you think. But anyway, um, I really enjoyed the little side quests that we did today. But I feel like, I almost feel like it wasn't enough. I think next time I'd like to do that Witcher contract um, before starting the next main quest line, which is the Bloody Baron. And I've... I've heard that the Bloody Baron quest is kind of long, so maybe I can do another side quest like in between there somewhere. So it's kind of like breaking it up a little bit. You know, we'll see once we're kind of like in the thick of it. But um, I'm really enjoying the fun little quirky side quest. I really like the pig one we did today. That was like so silly. I feel like I've mentioned this before, but I really like how every single quest in this game is different. It's not just like you know run kill this one thing go back to that person and that's it there's always like 
something unique and I'm really enjoying that about this game. But yeah, I can't wait to continue playing this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really, really help out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Little by little, you take control.